Hello everyone, it's Con4 with Falcon's Nest Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Road to Lighthouse. Uh, this is crazy. We, uh, If you missed the last episode, look, you've got to go, um, got to go check that one out. It was a banger. It was wild. Um, there was craziness going on. We uh, went in looking for PMCs and ultimately um, did not find PMCs, but boy oh boy did we find everything else in the map and then some um it was pretty crazy wild ride so if you're into that kind of thing and you missed that you may want to double back and give it a go that said we are just about ready to roll here and um despite the fact that we destroyed in the upper 20s of uh kill count last raid I don't believe a single one of them uh, was a PMC so we still need five of those we're working on this uh, streets of Tarkov quest we're waiting on our next uh, lightkeeper quest to unlock we're behind the time wall so probably got time for one more uh, episode here so we're gonna see how big we can go in the streets and hopefully we can have another uh, another green card type of run we'll see I uh, hope everyone's having a good day. If you are and you're enjoying the content, uh, relax, enjoy, and also look down and hit that uh, like button, hit that subscribe button, and the bell button to make sure that you get notified um, anytime I upload. Currently doing uh, two episodes a day, um, stacking up a bunch of them. And once I get to a reasonable amount, uh, where I feel comfortable I may move to three we'll see um, but just having fun with it honestly and uh, surprised to see that they're getting any views at all whatsoever um, so thank you if you're here uh, for being here and hopefully we can have a good raid today on the streets of Tarkov always um, interesting one way or the other my experience with streets has always been it's either a long drawn out uh, just a slug fest, the battle of attrition, or uh, something happens pretty quickly and you get sent back to the lobby. So we'll see um, <laughs> what our fortune looks like. We had a, a bit of a misfortune at, uh, towards the beginning of our episode, uh, last episode. Um, got head jawed, I believe, from our left side from a scav. I, haven't had a chance to go back and, and watch it yet, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, outside of that, though, Rieger went back in and, and had a pretty baller raid. So um, anxious to go back and watch that one for myself. So I hope you enjoy it if you do get a chance to watch it uh, because it was a pretty good time. We're about to load in under two minutes. Again, that's not a bad queue time, honestly. Uh, I think we got some room to kind of bring some players back onto the servers and off of their own online. I really do think it would help performance-wise a lot of people. So I'm uh, gonna need to get our bearings here. Okay, know exactly where we are. We actually good spawn because, um, of course, we're gonna check relaxation. Courtyard, Klimov, Expo. Okay. So again, we'll check Courtyard and um, and the vehicle extract on the way. But first, we're going to hit this and Marked Room. And more than likely, uh, we will run into PMCs. Did not happen last time, but again, I'm not going to let that discourage me be like that sometimes <laughs> anyway hopefully we get uh, some some decent loot I believe I use Aramid for something still I need that Axel actually we had a a daily quest to find two of you so more motivation to make it out alive oh I love our jump uh, no Moonshine. Ain't no moonshine when it's Bitcoin. That is like the third Bitcoin that we have found um, in relaxation room just in the last couple of raids. 
huge. I'll take it. Though Bitcoin dropped uh, dramatically over the last uh, day or so, it's down. It was down seven hundred thousand earlier, um, which is pretty uncommon. So I haven't looked at the real life Bitcoin, but usually it follows that price action. So it must have been a pretty bad day for some investors out there in the real world. Oh, poor guys who have all that money to lose. I feel terrible, except that I really don't. Just kidding, I actually don't. I, I don't wish ill will onto anyone, especially not financially and not this day and age. There is too much going on in the world, and uh, money is not getting any easier for anyone to make, so... I actually prefer to find ways where everyone can be prosperous where possible. I think when you can find scenarios where more people win, generally it's a better situation long term. Alright, so happy with that. We're going to get out of here because we don't want to linger. I want to catch PMCs on spawn or close the mark room early before they have a chance to move too far away. Alright. Nobody yet. This door is open though. That gate's open. Hmm. Well, we'll push on up the marked room, but I do not believe either one of those are naturally open, so something to be careful of. I've not seen a PMC on the way to marked here, but that does not mean that it can't happen. I know that they can have keys and unlock doors. I've seen it happen in labs. Um, I've seen doors in dorms unlocked that I did not unlock that shouldn't be um, so I believe it is 100% um, true that they can unlock doors even uh, potentially marked ones but if they've unlocked the marked door more than likely they're in the area and you would have to contend I don't know. Anytime I've seen them next to a marked door, usually I've killed them and or they've killed me. So, I've never seen marked door get open, but I have seen labs, keycard doors, um, for sure. And just your normal locked doors, um, you know, just out and about in the normal world. So, um, I know that they can do it. I do not see a key card here, so I think this is a bit of a bust, I would say. Uh, yep. I think we lost on this one. But, hey, Rome wasn't built in a day. That's alright. Is that, uh... Oh, we got one more pop left, huh? One more. Honestly, for one more, I'll sell this key for six million and buy a new key for sixteen. Ten key. That's a ten million dollar key. I mean, I'm gonna be running streets. I feel like I'll pull ten million value out of it. But if I don't, will I really notice? I mean, let's be honest. If I don't get $10 million worth of value out of that key, ruples rather, I will get 10 million ruples out of other things that I'm doing while I'm doing that. And I will get uh, some key cards out of that, so. Probably gonna do that. Gotta be honest. Thinking through it, doesn't make sense not to. Makes more sense to do than, uh, than not to do. Okay. 
we gotta find some PMCs. Like, for real. These guys are just either spawning on the other side of the map. Speaking of which. Oh, they're just heading right down frickin' Main Street. Oh, you know what? Duh. <coughs> I know they uh, tend to spawn in here. Or come in here at minimum. Now, we did get Crazy swarmed by scabs here last time. But there were also dead scabs here last time, indicating that PMCs had been here. Currently, I see no bodies. So, they may not have swung through yet. <coughs> Maybe we can still catch someone. I don't know. I know I'm not going to stop looking. Till I either die or find one. One or two. Those are the options. Oh, hello. Oh. Gotcha, bitch. Matter of fact, no, we're not going to linger. We need to move. Because sniper scav, PMCs, lots of reasons we cannot stay there. Uh, more reasons not to stay there than to stay there. Kind of the opposite of uh, what we were talking about before. Okay, repack now and just listen. Speeds of time. Oh, sh wow. I must have been hitting dead chest there because holy, I dumped a full mag into that guy. This is where Did I hear a PMC down here? Oh, yep. Goodbye. Learn to shoot. Bro got melted. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead.
um, it doesn't sound happy. A potion. Where'd he go? The boss, boss. Well, this is uh proving to be quite the uh the journey so far. I believe we got at least one um PMC, if I'm not mistaken, it was a bear at the end of the hallway. I'll have to confirm that when we have a chance. For the moment, we do not have a chance. take every second you can to repack man and really feel like I would need to start being careful about how much ammo I'm using <coughs> even with all this scav swarm is real <laughs> on the streets of Tarkov holy I hope you see that laser. Later. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's no way, dude. No way there is. I should have just went full auto. And scavs spawning within scavs. Like, literally, they're walking like, right on top of one another. Why can't I just find some PMCs? Are you kidding me, man? Oh, well, hey, you know, look, that's, that's Streets of Tarkov for you. <laughs> Sometimes that's just how it goes. It is what it is. Wow. Well, that certainly was not the way um, I was hoping that would end. But he had a shotgun, and I left him unstaggered for a split second, and that split second was long enough. For him to get a shot off. Yeah, the stagger shot's so important in Tarkov. That first hit. Um, and then, you know, making sure that you continue to do that. Obviously, you want to get the headshots. And if I'd have had a headshot there, it wouldn't have been a concern. But um, I didn't. And that's that. So, say la vie. Sometimes it be that way. All right, well, we need to uh, re-gear rather unceremoniously here so um <laughs> apologies for you guys having to watch this i was not uh <laughs> not planning on uh death obviously but um not necessarily bothered by it either uh that said though i wonder what do we want to do do i want to use an okay Probably not, that's what I'm thinking. Hmm. No, 
Um, I think we do not use an ink. I think I think we use the one that we've been using from Ragman, which is do 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 this guy right here. Um, yes, deal. Uh, it comes outfitted with tier five plates, and then I believe it is proper who sells the side plates for this guy. If I'm not mistaken. Always just double check, you know, compatible with available barely. So this is number one, right? Grab oh, two of those, and yeah, so it's not cheap armor. Why is it? defaulting to seven what is going on here um it's not cheap armor but it's effective and it also you know covers your uh your rig as well and gives you just a ton of space um so for me i love using it recently it is definitely my go-to and so yeah let's not take that one this one. Let's not take that one. They've all got, uh, you know what, there. Let's take this one. No. Boy, we have just, you know, let's just, um, oh, what do we do? Oh, ha. Huh. Well, look at there. You know, that'll do it. That's that's plenty of space. And we can just keep things moving. Because clearly I um <laughs> am going way too slow. S R two M yes, we're going back to streets. Absolutely. No question. Um, just gotta get our magazines. I know I uh, stashed some in a rig, but I think I actually maybe already had used that. So let's just do this. All right, popper five, no four. Boom. And boom. Boy, oh boy, that scav, man, the shotgun to the face. So uh, disrespectful. You know what I mean? I mean, there's so many more respectful ways to take out your opponent. He's just like, you know what? No. You just get the shotgun to the face. And maybe that's what I deserve. You know, I did <laughs> to destroy half a village uh, on the raid before that. So, you know, I can't necessarily be upset with the guy. But wow, I definitely was looking for a different outcome. So. Apologies uh, for you guys having to sit through this, but you know, it does happen. It's Tarkov, and it is Streets of Tarkov more specifically. So, as you've seen in the last few episodes, you can absolutely get swarmed and pinned down. And uh, the death there was entirely my fault. I was, I was comfortable and I had no intention of leaving that. So, um,. I was just having fun and enjoying the moment, which I will more than likely do again. I just, I get lost in raids and I, I love doing them. Um, and when I'm getting pushed like that, um, whoops, don't want to do that. When I'm getting pushed like that, it just, that is the Tarkov that I like, is um, when you're surrounded, when you're getting pushed. Now the PMCs and the Raiders certainly those encounters are more exciting um and nothing beats pvp like person to person uh there's just no comparison for that but still i like being knee deep in the enemies and, and seeing if i can come out on top i think we got everything i'm just mentally going through a checklist uh ammo six stacks so we got the four clips we reloaded them all we got the grizzly we got grenades we're armored up, contacts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So, hopefully, we won't have a, a super huge um, load in time and we can get back in uh, pretty quickly. Still, I don't. Oh, you know what? 
I was about to say I don't think we got any PMC kills, but there was uh, the guy that was shooting red tip at the end of the hallway because I saw a red tracer uh, blow by our head at one point. So he very well could have been a PMC. Uh, we were at 75% needing five more the last time we looked. So I'll take a look at that here in just a second when we actually log in, uh, load in rather, excuse me. It looks like this gun already has a tactical laser. The other one I had found one in raid and then slapped it on, but um, I think it did come with a laser on the loadout. And they are useful, for sure. So we loaded in last time in under two minutes. Um, actually, pretty much every time we've gone to streets tonight, it's been a uh, relatively quick load in. So hopefully that uh, stays the same and we can get this party started. Keep you guys from having to wait too, too long. If you are still here, thank you. <laughs> um, we'll get back in and uh, get some, some more action going. Streets is just one of those maps. Like sometimes you go in you get everything, you get out, uh, it's a dead raid, and you don't run into too much of anything, and then other times it is just like a straight war zone, and any time you go around the post office area currently is just, it seems to be that it's centered in such a way that all of the scavs in the area will come at you, like I'm talking 20, 30, 40 scavs. Um, I've had some pretty juicy uh, raids in that area, so I'm not going to avoid it because it's too much fun, but just so you know, every time we're in that area, it's probably going to be uh, a lot of gunfights. Okay. Uh, wow. Really? Spawn me here. Come on, man. Talk about the spawns you don't want. Courtyard, crash site, damage house. Okay, so we're going damage house because that is where we would want to be. Oh, wait. Yep. We gotta get through Concordia. Oh no, we gotta... I wanna be sniper here. That is a bear. Pretty sure. Alright, let's get this stem to pop. And then we'll be alright. I think he blacked an arm though. Oh yeah. And there got one of our legs too. Let's get that bleed. I think we hit him, but I do not believe we took him out. While he's not pushing, we need to uh, do some quick fixing of ourselves. Oh boy. We're going to finish in time. And then the stem hopefully will still be active. Over there. Yep. I feel the same way. Definitely PMCs. So this is what we've been waiting for. Wow, we are surrounded here. Um, Okay. 
Oh, saucy right out the gate. I love Streets of Tarkov. Oh, I love this map so much. Um, I'm going to take the quiet time to uh, repack. We're back to 424, so I can't imagine they're helpless. Yeah, we're in good shape. Man, those green stems, the three, what is it, the, uh, what are they called? ETGs, yeah. ETGs are amazing. You know, if you're not using them, use them. Just get yourself an injector case. They're worth the cost. And those stems, man, they are lifesavers. So definitely should see some quest progression from there. We'll take a look real quick. Uh, it's a uh, proper, 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 proper test draft, 80%. So one of, we got another one still. So we're going to go and push. Well, we may not need to. We're going to go and push here in a second because we've got to get to the other side of the map anyway realistically that's where Xfil is and that's where honestly the loot that we want is um, not that you can't get loot around here couldn't get loot around here I believe this is the guy that was trying to snipe us from downrange um, sure I don't need to heal anything and I don't yeah, we're, uh, we're sitting pretty at this point. Just as a backup, you never know. And bam. Backup heal, let's go. How about this guy? What did you bring us? His hand through the wall. <laughs> just, <laughs> these scabs, I swear, it's, they're just, it's so ridiculous. They're just ridiculous, but I love it. Not I'm not saying it should change. Please don't get that wrong. I love uh, these raids where it just gets nice and wild and juicy, and that is a nice AK. But that Dura, holy. Might be PMCs through here too, so we'll just have to be uh, quick and careful. I'm not planning on stopping, except for my freaking stand. I did not bring my extra mule. Holy, um, let's do this now. Alright. Should we go back there? I mean, man, I need PMC kills. I believe that is coming from, I believe that's coming from the uh, grocery store. I think. Because that guy that we shot at, I believe he went into that door. And I think that's where all the gunfire we're hearing right now is coming from. So let's take a second. Find out, shall we? Was it not coming from this? Maybe in the back? Boy. Yes, 
So I saw a guy running back that way, but no, 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 no. Yeah. We are not getting close to that nonsense. Boss and guards do not count as PMCs. That is a task we will save for another day. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Got you. Should have shot at someone else today, buddy. So, if you watched the previous episode, you should know where we are now. If you didn't, it's a banger. Go watch the episode. It is, uh, it is worth the time, I promise you. Sorry if I'm uh, getting quiet here. I am absolutely laser focused. So... Sometimes I might uh, be a little quiet, but just want to make sure I don't uh, cause us to have a stunted journey, if you will. <laughs> we don't want that. Success is required for this one. repack and then we're going to move forward help wise we're good right are we oh no we're not what happened oh stem exhaustion I gotta watch my water too, actually. We should probably just keep our eye out for some food. Okay. So I, um, when you're down to just little pieces of health like that, and really any time, you can uh, cancel the healing animation with just left click. I'm saying that, and I've probably said it before, but I'm saying it again because, man, it's handy to know. And who just shot at me? Oh, we got the sniper up top. That'd be a smart ass. Oh boy. Gotcha. Hey, Kings of the Rooftops. Done. Our subtask completed. So, what is the other one? To survive an extract? What? Where? Alright, we've got to uh, regroup here. Someone's seeing me that I'm not seeing, and I'm running and we're tired and you know just lots going on right now and actually our health is draining because of this stem still but I'm pretty sure the other guy was a scav or a sniper Do not heal the stomach. Okay. I 
I know we're moving up. So, if he's up here, he's about to have a bad day. I have a goal in mind. Evidently, we've got, uh, Gabs in here. Oh wow. Let's go. Nailed them both. Let's go. Okay. Hey, there's two PMCs. I will take it. <laughs> hey, they needed an LCD too. Aw, poor guy. You didn't make it out with yours. Guess we could have negotiated, but I didn't really give them a chance to negotiate. You know what I mean? I just kind of shoot first, ask questions later. You know, they were in a real awkward position for them I don't know why they were pushed up against the wall like that but um, whatever <laughs> I know I hear you oh 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 man that I believe uh, we are going to have to try to accommodate. Um, so we're going to do this. Um, this. This. And sorry, baby girl, I'll get you back. Hello. Home to Papa. Oh, luscious tier six plates all the way around. Now that is going to add a significant amount of weight, but you don't pass up that kind of protection. Honestly, this is a solid, solid piece and uh, insurance exists. So awesome quest progress and Loot to boot. Ack, ack, ack. <laughs> loot to boot. I'm ridiculous. It's a wonder why anyone um, deals with me at all. You know what I mean? So, someone is just a. Uh, Okay, I think we are just about ready, except we will need heals available, and we'll just keep the grizzly in the bag. All right. Relaxation room, marked room. And I think we uh, take that win. We gotta make that happen first, but that's the plan. All right, so relaxation is up here. We still have a ton of room for stuff. I mean, we're fairly well juiced, but um, I, 
believe we will get even juicier. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, it has been pretty good to us, so... I hate to say it, but we're due. <laughs> we're due a bad run. Oh, I want that uh, food, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. Never know when your stomach's gonna get shot out or, you know, just random bad things happen sometimes. And sometimes you just want something to eat. This feels like it's been looted. Which, if they can loot it, fine, but, um, why would the door <laughs> not be, uh, well, I think we'd work, you know. I mean, technically the lion is going to be worth more than the gun. I only keep the guns because I feel like guns are more valuable, but realistically, either one of those AKs would constitute as necessarily valuable. It's vodka, on the other hand, we will take, and I can't complain, I've gotten uh, on three bitcoins out of uh, relaxation room. So I was definitely due for a uh, a not so stellar one. We've still got marked room to go. Moonshine. You know, I don't think I've ever seen it on the floor there. That is going to spur me to check beside these things now. I don't think I've ever looked or paid attention to the side of them before. Gas to be more careful. Now that is, at this point, a secure container item because uh, Moonshine's massive right now, as I'm sure anyone who's watching this video is aware. So, um, all right, marked room. This is, uh, I believe, our last marked room key. Oh, I was going to sell this one, but, you know, we're here. You know, let's just, I don't need the five million, right? I don't. And I'm going to open this door, and there's a solid chance that whatever's in here is not going to be worth five million, but that's okay, too. We're here, and I just want the extra juice. And honestly, five million for one use is kind of a ripoff, so... I wouldn't feel necessarily great about that, but I wouldn't have to. It's not like you meet the people that buy stuff from you, and if they bought it, they did buy it, you know. So, bam, couple million, see, and we didn't even have to worry about that part. Uh, maybe four million for those two to four, I think, for yellow. Green and red are definitely more valuable. But, um, we will, uh, we will not worry about that. And, uh, apologies for that pop-up there on the screen, guys. Um, as I said, I uh, play on an OLED 144 hertz, obviously, Samsung. Uh, <laughs> um, that is my monitor, and it is gorgeous, and I love it. And honestly, um, man, it, it, the colors are just absolutely phenomenal. The 144 frames is plenty for a game like Tarkov, especially because I'm playing in 4K with max settings. Like the day where I'm going to have to worry about busting 144 is not necessarily a GPU issue. So the 5 series isn't isn't going to help with that. It's CPU issue and the uh, X3D that I currently have is simply the best CPU for Tarkov, so um, that's not going to change. Um, so, looking at the next line of uh, CPUs that they've got available, um, they still 
even in early testing, are not uh, looking promising to be able to outperform uh, the 7800. So if you got a 7800 X3D, you're you're sitting with the reigning champ for uh, what appears to be quite some time, because the next generation of uh, AMD CPUs are not poised to dethrone it yet, but they may have an X3D option that will have uh, the large cache that has made this CPU such a phenomenal gaming CPU. I, I've built several computers over the years and I'm, I'll be honest, this CPU combined with a 4090 and about 6000 megahertz RAM if you get, you know, I, you know, I'm running 64, but if you get 32, you know, even gigabytes of RAM, like, you would have just blazing performance, 4K, you guys can see, um, solid, solid setup. Is it sewer or is it damaged house? Damaged house, okay. I think we're gonna, um, head to extract, take the win. We got a yellow key card, so that's cool. Um, wow. I'm, uh, I'm out of stam. I'll let it regen for a sec, just so you guys don't have to listen to my guy complain. And then we'll just, uh, head around the corner here. Why are you still, um, complaining, my guy? Our extract is, uh, is right over here. Actually, funnily enough, they spawned us in right next to an extract, which is rare. And they spawned us in. Or was that last raid? I don't know. I can't keep track anymore. No, we actually came from the other side of the map this raid. That was last raid. Never mind. Been doing streets too much. But wait, before we leave, I have to. I have to see something. Hold on. No. How much progress did we make? Okay, two more. Sweet. So three out of the five PMC kills, two more, and then hopefully our time quest is open by the time it's time to record the next episode. Wow. Another baller raid, another unfortunate death, you know, that streets of Tarkov. You're not going to make it through uh, every raid, so we did have a few L's tonight, but we also had some very, very huge wins. Uh, before I uh, end it, we'll take a look at um, what this yellow card is going to be worth to us. And yeah, we killed uh, three PMCs that raid, so that uh, is going to help us um, achieve our objective. And I need to make sure I remember to pull those dog tags out, because I, I think I still need a few. There's a quest called Trophies that opens up late game, and it's... Um, Essentially turning in different dog tags of varying levels, and one of those, I believe, is in range of uh, what I still need. I'm pretty sure I've finished the 50 plus. Um, I think I'm working on the ones below 50. It's like a certain range has to be like between level 25 and 50 or something like that. Something weird. Either way, we can take a look at it here in just a second, because um, I'm sure... Um, Anyone who's watching, I want to know what that yellow card is going to go for. That's uh, at least a few mil for sure. Um, let's uh, go ahead and get that out. Get all the uh, other loot out. We, uh, we did not do too bad. And we got a chance to uh, commit some insurance fraud, so that's always fun. Um, yeah, we uh we had us a solid raid that time. So let's see what we made on on this uh that's not going to be enough ammo, but I you know, I always worry if I leave these things that um they oh yeah, we got the moonshine too. So um I'm always worried if I leave these things that I won't see it the next time I raid and then I'll just Jump right in without, you know, paying attention to something or something along those lines. So, um, we're not going to worry about ensuring that. Actually, yeah, we will. 
Uh, we'll just run this. I'm not going to ensure this though. Um, we'll just run this rig. We're definitely going to ensure that. So I didn't mean that it wasn't worth insuring. That certainly was not the case. Actually, I probably should have left that alone, but whatever. Okay, so let's check out this card 2.2. All right, awesome. So here, someone's going to have a bit of a better time. There you go, two mil. Somebody snatched that up in 2.5 seconds, I guarantee. And this moonshine, man. Uh, we'll, uh, again, give someone a break out there. So, 2.5 million just from that, not even including all this other stuff that, uh, that we sold. We got the bitcoins, we got just a obscene amount of money that we need to add to our already obscene amounts of money. And then we clearly already have more obscene amounts of money coming at us. It's just a, you know, it's a, it's a good time to be us. Us being con for <laughs> Faust Nest Gaming. Thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.